Ladies, it's time for proms and spring dances, and we want you to get ready with us. Here's everything you need to know about going to a dance. What to wear. How to dance. And we'll meet an awesome girl who gives prom dresses to those in need. First, get ready with us. Hey guys! Okay, so we're not all lucky enough to go to dances this year, but we're still drooling over prom and spring dance looks and experiencing serious FOMO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we're going to show you what you need. Dresses, jewelry, and makeup. All to get you ready for the big dance. First step, finding the perfect outfit. I don't know if I want to wear this one, but I also really like this black one over here. I think this is the one. This would be cute together. Yeah. Ooh, that's really cute. Now we're going to do our makeup. But first, here's our guide to conquering school dance awkwardness. Here's the AG Life Guide to four things that can happen at a dance and how to deal with them. You feel awkward. Well, everyone feels awkward. You know the saying, dance like no one's watching? Just do that, even though everyone is probably watching. <laughs> you want to dance, but you don't have a date. Channel your inner Taylor Swift and dance with your girl squad. You want to dance with a boy, but he hasn't asked you? Just ask him yourself. If he says yes, yay. If he says no, just shake it off. You're dancing with a boy, and suddenly, the DJ puts on a slow song. Ah! If you both want to dance, the moves to a slow song are pretty easy. Just hands on shoulders, or hands on hips, and move side <laughs> to side. Makeup time. Makeup time! Of course, you don't need makeup, but if you want to, and if you like doing makeup, then go right ahead. Makeup brushes. Uh, that's like my favorite part, because they're so soft. They're so soft. A look at my makeup and I'm going to show you what Brynn's doing. So I'm doing like a kind of, I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> it's the Brynn. Yeah. When you're getting ready for either a dance or anything else that you have to really get ready for with your makeup and your hair, I recommend getting a friend to be your partner because it's really, really fun, especially with a friend. You guys want to see how to get your doll's hair ready for a dance too? Yeah, our friend Jellybean585 made this really cool tutorial for you guys. Click here to watch it. Your doll's hair will be ready for a dance too, just like us. It's awesome girl time. Today we're highlighting Becca, an awesome girl with an amazing legacy. Becca noticed that a lot of girls weren't going to their prom because they couldn't afford it. And she didn't think that was fair, so she organized a drive to collect and donate hundreds of prom dresses and accessories for girls in need. Then her life was tragically cut short. At 16, Becca passed away in a car accident, but her family and friends were determined to keep her dreams alive. Today, Becca's closet has handled and collected over 100,000 dresses. We got a chance to talk to one of her best friends who keeps Becca's closet going. Hi, my name is Jenna Goldstein and I'm the co-founder of the New York City Becca's Closet. Rebecca was a close friend of mine and this is a way for me to help the community and to help her legacy stay alive. Do you have a favorite memory from volunteering at Becca's Closet? Really learning about the girls and understanding um, what they like and what their favorite prom dress styles are and really getting them into that perfect dress. It's just, you know, such a great experience. What's your favorite memory of your own prom? And can we see pics? <laughs> of course you can see pictures. One of the best memories is that Rebecca's parents, who were always there when I was helping with Becca's Closet, they really wanted me to find a prom dress at Becca's Closet. So I got home that night after volunteering for the day and they told me that I forgot something in their car and they came over and they dropped off the prom dress Please. that I had wanted. So that was probably one of the best memories. Any tips for this year's prom style? What are the best new trends? I am all for the separates. Been seeing that trending a lot. Um, you know, a nice skirt with the cute little top, mm, some accessories. I, I think that would be a, you know, a great idea for prom. Thank Bye. you so much for being here Thank with us. You guys You're so, so inspiring. Much. Thank so you. Inspiring. You girls are great. Time for our last step in getting ready. Let's accessorize. I think I probably want something simple since my dress is like, it already has kind of a pattern on it. Yeah. So now we're all dressed up, but we don't actually have a dance to go to. If you don't have a dance at your school, you can do two things. Petition your school to have a spring dance. Or just have your own dance party. Invite some friends, make a hot playlist, and dance till you drop. Woo! That's our show. Thank you so much for 
watching. Subscribe, like, and tag a friend that you want to dance with. <laughs> Bye! Since Mother's Day is coming up, we wanted to do a special recipe just for moms.